And we're live. I have my pointer. See, this is last week's painting. <laughs> I need to put an extension on this so I can reach way over there. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Alan's changing my garbage because I filled it up today. Hakuna Matata me. <laughs> Buena suerte. Are you gonna start learning Spanish now? <laughs> Here, I'll take that. I already dropped one today. So, I hope everybody's having a good night. We are um, moving some stuff around so we don't trip over anything because my studio is a wreck. Right, a uh, wreck. Is that the word I want to use? Wreck. Wreck. Camera needs to be adjusted a little. Not yet. After we show the paintings, we'll move it. Hello, hello, hello. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up coming in. Hey, Deborah, did you get your painting? I forgot to send you an email. Oh, good. Good. So we're good. Okay. I always worry when I don't check the tracking to make sure it got there and then that email is buried somewhere. But uh, you want to show them last week's paintings, honey? Honey, babe, boo? Yes, dear. <laughs> yes, boss. How not your boss? Where shall we start? That was your zigzaggy. Look how pretty it dried. I was really worried. The colors dried pretty in this one, even though it was a kind of a hot mess last week. Kind of like me. Hot mess. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Shelly said sugums. <laughs> pretty colors. Oh, should I mark those? Yeah, you should. We're going to fix that, honey, when we move the camera. Don't you fret none. So what did you do next? Did you do the round or the... I think I did the round. And this was with what? The PPO? No. No, we didn't use any PPO last week. Easy, Bloom. You're going to make them buffer. Sorry. I'm trying to see which way. I really like the way that one came out. There's little bits and pieces in there that I love. Some texture to it, too. Mm -hmm. That one's going to look nice resined. If I did that to everyone, we say we're going to resin, every one of them would get resin, wouldn't they? Then there was this one. That was your flip cups, and it did split a little. Right through here. Through there and through there. I think because the heater, we shut the heater off before we go to bed. So it was really warm in here and then it got cold and then I cranked the heat back up in the morning. So that might have made it do that. 
Plus, you had a lot of paint left on that canvas. No, there wasn't a lot of paint. Can you see the river valleys? So you're buffering in, so stop getting too close because they're all buffering already. Sorry. That's hey. Alan's fault if you're buffering. Yeah. Blame <laughs> it on me. What would you like to say about this? Those were just three ring ports, I believe. Look at all that red. Red. She never uses red. All right, now you can adjust the camera because we don't want to see your feet all night. You don't want to see my feet? No. You're going to see my feet all night. <laughs> Sorry, Shelly. It's all my fault. Yes, I am in my jammies. <laughs> You're always in your jammies when you get home from work. Okay, did you have anything else you wanted to show them from this past week? Um, I can show them a couple of them of the vases. The vases are cured. Well, not cured, they're dry. So which one? The purple one's fine, just grab one. We're just gonna show you one. You'll have to wait for the auction to see the other ones. <laughs> well, that's just teasing. Of course it is. You can take it right off of there. It's fine, you can handle it. What are you afraid of? I showed the cup on too tight. <laughs> what are you afraid of? There. I got it. So now I'll put cork bottoms on those and sign them. And they will be ready for the auction on Saturday. Show candy dish. See how nice they look with resin? You can fill the cracks in with um, gold or um, silver or black or white. So they all came out nice. I was happy. And I got three trivets covered with that leftover resin I had. So I didn't waste any resin at all. And those vases are available where? For the auction. Oh, no. Oh, Dollar Tree. All right, Bubala, ready to pour? No, but. Yeah, resin dries within usually 12, 18 hours. You can touch it. As long as you keep it warm enough, that's the whole key. I left the heat on, so they cure pretty quick. Yeah, I'm very happy with those. I was looking at them today when I was moving them. I was like, oh, do I want to keep that one? <laughs> Nice little gifts for Christmas. So our auction Saturday is going to be um, gifts. Uh, we're going to have the bases and we're going to have um, a couple of candy dishes. I only have two. And then um, a lot of snap jewelry and um, trivets. I have five trivets. And we have a bunch of resin paintings. Um, they're going to start at, you know, a reasonable price. I'm not going to start them out too low. But I do have two diptych sets that are going to have in the, in the auction. That would make beautiful gifts. And we have a lot of resin pieces, actually. So, um, Shauna, we're getting them at Dollar Tree. 
And you can also check like Goodwill and places like that. Just wash them, wipe them down with alcohol before you pour on them. They only need um, about a week to cure and then you can resin them and 72 hours after that. It's not like a painting where you have to put two coats on either. One coat's usually enough. One coat? One coat, just to shine it up. All right, hun. What you doing? Uh-oh, I see an angle. <laughs> Yes, we're going to test the angular vi uh, velocity of paint. Oh, without a base coat. No, we're going to go. We're going to go with base coat. He's in the toy box. Yeah. So if you do your bases. Um, before the weekend, they're, they'll be ready for Christmas. That's cool, Joyce. A lot of people that get flowers delivered, they don't even use those vases anymore. Clean them off and pour some paint on them. Make them functional. Recycle, recycle. And you actually turned in several vases a couple of years ago before you really started painting to a friend of yours that, yes, owns a, uh, that owns a flower shop. I gave her a whole box of vases. If I would have known then what I know now. Brandy, we want them back. <laughs> Just do it, Truth. <laughs> You can pour on mason jars, too. Yeah, I'll show you those when I get up to paint. I'll show you that. Um, the runoff pieces because I have, I think I have seven, six or seven. Six or seven. What did I miss? What did I miss? The runoff canvases from pouring those bases canvas underneath them on a rack so when the paint went down over the vase it made the star pattern so they came out pretty cool all right yeah you can pour paint on just about anything it's how you seal it that's the most important part because you have to seal it on there hi linda what happens you're all boxed and ready to go so um, a lot of people on the West Coast are avoiding purchasing the ready-to-pour paints because of the shipping costs. Um, today I did an order, 25 bottles. I broke it into two boxes. So we had a large flat rate and a medium flat rate. So the shipping was $36.30. So if you are on the West Coast, that's the cheapest I can get your shipping is $36.30 for all 25 bottles. So if you've been wanting to get paint and you're afraid to order, um, we did some finagling with the bottles and got them in the boxes and it worked out great. Linda's going to be my, uh, I don't want to say guinea pig, but we're going to see how they shipped her. <laughs> and she will let me know, right, Linda? <laughs> I just, I got them all in plastic bags in case one would leak and I'm really hoping they don't. I made sure those tops were on nice and tight.
You're so quiet, boo boo. Concentrating. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I can't be quiet at work anymore. I have to speak up. Just trying to even out the pain a little. Well, that's terrible, Linda. I'm sure you let them know that. I've had some fluky things from Amazon, too. But they're really good about replacing. The worst part is the time of season right now. Things that you expect to be delivered yeah. show up a couple days later. I think it's just running thicker, Tammy, because it's a little chilly out here. So the paint is a little thicker. And it hasn't been used in over a week. What? The base coat. Did it seem thicker than usual? No, not really. So when I was, where did I get the alleys? Yes. We went to um, alleys on Saturday, right? Saturday? Yes. So I picked up these adorable little tools. Mini spatula and mini brush. For those mini canvases? No, just... This will come in, two of them will come in handy when I'm mixing paint, so. I love Allie's. It's a fun place to shop. We were bad, though. We went hungry. <laughs> Don't ever go to. Never go to Allie's when you're hungry. <laughs> they have way too much candy there. <laughs> I think we spent probably half of our money there was on Christmas candy. Well, we have to go to the grocery store hungry or we don't buy anything. Ali's is like a discount store. Um, you can get like, I buy my linoleum there for the studio for like 30 bucks a roll. And we get, you know, area rugs there and they have tons of books and they have canvas and, you know, artsy stuff. They have lots of kitchen gadgets, one whole aisle of kitchen gadgets, cards, you know, a little bit of electronics, paint. I love the hardware aisle. I spend at least 20 minutes in that aisle looking at stuff. And then they have bedding and sheets and some clothes and like three or four aisles of food. So we have a good time in there. <laughs> we spend at least an hour in there, don't we? Just Pretty looking much. at everything. Yeah, just get a cheap piece of linoleum, Shell. I bought linoleum for Alan Shed. <laughs> He's got nice flooring out there. Yeah. If he ever gets out there to work in there. I work out there once in a while. Color choices. Becky, you can post that phone number for her if you want. I tried some hot chocolate we bought there in the K-Cups and I didn't really care for it. So I kind of stay away from that stuff, but... 
I can get my shampoo for like two dollars a bottle, and and it's good stuff. Short stuff. Good stuff, cheap. Yep, good stuff, cheap. Yeah, it's similar to Big Lots. A little cheaper though. That's true, Shell. He we did go into work Saturday morning. <laughs> And Sunday afternoon. And Sunday afternoon. But that and was okay. Sunday evening because I left my computer on my desk Saturday. Okay. Color choices. Lucas Steel Blue. I like that color. Master Touch Light Purple. I'm out of focus tonight, babe, so be careful. Going to kill this one. Grumbacher's Cerulean Blue Hue. I'm going to camera the other way now. This way again? Yep. Soho <laughs> Silver. <laughs> I turned the camera back around because I was doing that live Saturday, Sunday. Master Touch Neon Purple. Yes, they do. 12 ounce bottle, you get 11 ounces of ready to pour paint. Liquitex light blue violet. But we also have our paint in jars. Going with a juicer. I know I've got them all goofed up, don't I? <laughs> we have a monitor. He should be able to see that. I wonder if I go in and if I can fix that camera. I doubt it. I'm going to elevate the juicer. Nope. I can't. Watch this. It's a ski slope. You're a little up too high. I did have hat pins in here that you could put oh, down. I'm good. Okay. Remember, just pour on that one side, then. Hey, Amber. Okay, so I'm going to start out with Lucas Steel Blue. Just pour on the one side. You're going to drip all off the back. And I can see it in the camera. Has to touch the light purple. It's not going to go off the edge of the canvas. Crumbacker Cerulean Blue. Soho Silver. Okay, it might go off a little. Master Touch. Neon Purple. And I did spray my juicer with the WD-40 silicone spray. What do you mean, Caroline, the camera? We just switched it back. We had it so it was looking overhead. But now we're back to you guys facing us. Hey, Brenda. Um, I can if, it, if you want silicone in the pre-mixed paints. Yes, I can add it. You can get it with or without. I don't charge anything extra for the silicone. Susan, he's been saying the name of every color since he started. Next one's Soho Silver. Sorry about that. Master Touch Neon Purple. Liquitex Light Blue Violet. No 
one more round of Lucas Steel Blue. It's okay, Caroline. I'm yes, always touch. slow. Light purple. <laughs> what? I'm I'm a little slow. Oh, I thought when you said I'm. People ask me questions. I thought you said I'm a little slow. It's because I'm always tired. <laughs> It's a blonde thing. <laughs> um, I will, Cheryl. Although I have the gallon, but I can show you what it looks like. That was Grim Backers, early in blue. Maria says Cheetos will make an appearance in the second half. <laughs> Touch neon purple again. Hi, Canela. And then the Liquitex light blue violet. Everybody's got their Cheetos already. Sheesh. Must be Cheetos night. Get that just slide on down, just like a ski slope. Should use some white in there to break it up. You want a little white? You gonna do another round? Throw a little white. Gee, in I there. wonder why Canela, <laughs> Cheetos, popcorn, Dove chocolate. What else do we talk about? Anything munchy. Ice cream. Ice cream. So we have one. This is the last week to win the 25 teaser pack. So make sure if you're here, you're commenting. Hey, Dana. Oh, you're so welcome. I enjoy doing those resin videos like that, the crafty stuff, because a lot of people pour paint on something and they don't realize they can um, do resin on a, you know, on a functional piece like that. They think everything has to be flat, so. The world's flat, isn't it? Just gonna let that slip slide a little. I didn't use that cerulean blue up either. Where did someone say pot? <laughs> Don't worry, Carol. We're still on our first painting. You didn't miss much. It's the teaser hour.
guys are so sweet. I love my paint too. I wouldn't sell it if I didn't love it. We're still trying to use up all the paint on the walls. <laughs> We're not even Mixed. putting a dent in it, are we? From when? From last year? Yeah, some of those are from last year. New Year's Eve is oh, coming up. Yes, it is. Probably be pouring for six hours on New Year's Eve, huh? Boy, I better have all the racks cleaned off for that. Joanne says she's low on Alan's red, red shimmer. I can't even say it tonight. I am so tired, you guys. It's not even funny. Okay, Maria. Jen. Kim, I have paint up there that we mixed last February, not this past February, last February, and we still use it. Just give it a shake once in a while, you know, to keep it mixed, and it shouldn't go bad. If you're not using water, it won't go bad. There's something with mixing water in it that it can get mold in the bottle, so that's why I don't use water. Yeah, Roxy, we're probably going to do probably 22 or 24 paintings New Year's Eve. We're going to go a little slower this time, though, because I have, like, no drying room. <laughs> I don't think it's moving slowly. I think Alan's moving it slowly. What's the skins on my gloves? Yeah, Canelo, we had a blast last year. We did 23 paintings last year. We had one grand finale piece that Maria owns. And all the rest of them are hanging like wall border in our studio. So we got the other half of the studio to put paintings up. It's fun. People come and go. You know, if you're not going out for New Year's Eve, come hang out with us. We try to provide the entertainment. Yeah, we get a little goofy. We don't drink while we're pouring, though. <laughs> It is fun. It gives us something to do instead of sitting in the house doing absolutely nothing, that's for sure. Although I don't ever sit in the house anymore. Do you know where it is? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe if you bought me new furniture, I might go in the house. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my furniture I have now, though. That's exhausting, Kelly. I'm sorry. Mary Ellen saying, spend the promotion money, Alan. He hasn't gotten it yet. <laughs> Do 
doing the job but not getting paid for it yet, right? All good things will come to those who wait. That's cool, Dana. Night, Canela. I know we had people that stayed with us from the beginning till we signed off, which was unbelievable. But quarter after two. Yep. What time did we start? Eight? Eight o'clock. Yeah. Somebody actually kept up with us and did like 24 or 23 paintings too. Who was, was that? I think it was Monica Strickland. I can't remember for sure. I'm pretty sure. I think you're right. I think it was Monica. Or was it Kristen? Somebody in the group. Okay. Yeah, Monica, she said she painted a bunch. I think Karina did a bunch too. The more the merrier, right, Al? That's right. True. Yes, have not pushed everything off the edge. I love that commercial with the guy, Mayhem, where he's the cat. <laughs> um, everything, all our paint will be mixed and our canvas as well be prepped, yeah. And we try to do like one flip cup and one dirty pour with the same palette. Go way to the back with that, babe. You don't wipe your edges off very good. I don't even know if we're going to have a paint color list, Monica, because we have so much paint on the walls that we're trying to use up. But I can give you a general idea what colors we'll be using. I can, too. Courage Passy Dark Chocolate. <laughs> Courage Passy Purple Shimmer. <laughs> Courage Posse Morning Pansy Shimmer. Oh, stop now. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, you could use distilled water, but you have to remember you're going to get condensation in your bottles if you let it set and not shake occasionally. So the condensation itself can cause mold. So just make sure you give them a shake once in a while. When I see them starting to separate, I start giving them a little shake. Any skins you want? No, thank you. I have like way too many set in there right now. Maria? Okay. Um, it all depends. Probably for the dirty pours, it'll be seven ounce cups. And for the flip cups, if we do 12 by 12, what are we doing for the flip cups? Those are all 11 by 14, aren't they? Or are they 12 by 14? 11 by 14. Oh, we got ones of 11 by 14 canvas. 
We have like <laughs> cases. 50, 50 extras. <laughs> That's okay. Canvas is not going to go to waste in this house. Or in the garage. Caroline, I can ship the jars, but I can't ship the liquids. Uh, the shipping is very high. I will give you that. So I'm going to be using PBO Blue Green. I mix this one up with our recipe. Did you see Becky's question? How do you make colors float in black? Well, don't use transparent because they won't. So make sure you're using opaque colors next to black or metallics. I'll do some dark chocolate shimmer. Kelly, go ahead and post your question again. She said she posted one and it disappeared. Uh, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. Melissa says she still has a gallon of paint left from that night. <laughs> we have jugs. You know the containers that we have our white in? The court. These four first. We have like 25 jugs over there that are still like half full from last year that we're going to use. I did take a bunch down to my cousin, but that didn't help. So I did use all of our gold, didn't I? So let's use the 24 karat gold on this one. That was when I didn't refill. And we'll use some white. Let's see if I can find Kelly's question. And how about some chestnut browns? Okay. Do you prep everything beforehand for that many or mix as you go? That's your question. They'll all be mixed already. All our paints are always mixed. And we do pre prep. Pre prep. Pre prep. Pre -prep. Pre -prep. Pre -prep. Pre -prep. <laughs> Okay, Julie, Julia wants to know, how do you know when it's opaque? When you can't see through it. Um, best thing to do when you get paints is swatch them. If you're not sure and it's not on the tube, swatch them. If you can't, I like to do it over black or over white. Um, take your paintbrush and just swatch it over the top. If you can still see the white, um, it's either semi-transparent or transparent. Uh, if it looks just like it's just a hint of color over that, that's probably transparent. But if it looks like it does cover some, it's semi-transparent. Okay, you won't see it at all. Good night, Tracy. Tracy is leaving. Wishing everybody a good night. Yes, we hunting rabbits. We hunting rabbits? We hunting rabbits. Why are we hunting rabbits? Because we can't say what. <laughs> Are you Elma Fudd? <laughs> no. Caroline says she's buffering. Everybody's Anybody else having any problems? Yeah, there's a few that are buffering tonight. So I'm going to start with our white. This is just titanium white from Creative Inspirations. And then we're going to go right in with the PBO blue green. I'm going to hit the side of the cup, though, because I don't want it to sink too much in the white. Ooh, ooh, the question I can answer. How do you clean the bottles without going down the drain? Ellen, Ellen uses buckets. Buckets? Yeah, put gold there instead. And very, very hot, hot water. Soapy. With, I found the Dawn Platinum uh, dish soap works the best. You let them soak. And then you pour it into either a cat litter box or into some type of mulch. Yeah, we yes. do it in our mulch. 
That is that is my expertise. I'm a great bottle washer. Yes, you've earned that title. You used to be Pie Lady Helper, but now you're bottle washer. Roxy says she puts a piece of stocking over her sink strainer. You're right, Terry. I got excited over that one. I would not put any paint water in my drains. One, because we have a septic tank. Two, that paint will stick to your pipes eventually. Believe me. And if you're using glue uh, or Floetrol or any kind of pouring medium, you're going to have that problem. It may not be now, but it will happen. Yes, Shelly, I've been promoted to chief bottle washer. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is just ring, do a bunch of little ring pours and let it connect together. I should have used a bendable cup. Julia uses gallon ice cream buckets and waters her plants with it. I did not spray my cups. I didn't want any extra silicone. Sorry about the camera, guys. Got a little mind of its own right now. Yeah, I had it on uh, autofocus because auto I was taking pictures today and I totally forgot to change it. Sorry. Somebody, Carol says it. More light. Table seems dark tonight. How's that? You're right, Terry. If you do put your bucket outside to evaporate, you can pull the dry paint out and throw it right in the trash. Let's get some bubbles out. says what's in the cup looks gorgeous i know the cups are pretty i didn't spray them <laughs> so this is where i rock because i don't want to lose the flow of paint I want it all to come together. I'm gonna turn my canvas. It's just easier to come to the right. Hoping that white sinks a little. As soon as I pour this, I'll show you guys first the PBO jug and then the paintings from the bases. Let me get this corner and we'll stretch it all back. Now remember, all of our paints in the bottles have silicone. So we get lots of cells. I'm a cell girl. I like them. I do have a video coming up. Not sure what day because I did upload a bunch of videos today and scheduled them. I did a painting with no cells. Well, no silicone. 
But I also want to show you the painting that I did the other day with the uh, muscadine wine and the Persian yellow with the PBO. <laughs> no silicone. Brian says, control your paint. Don't let it be the boss. Yep. You can make that paint go where you, where you want it to go. You just have to rock and bringing it all together to make it go to a corner or to make it go off a side. Just don't tilt because you need to get paint off. You want to tilt with intention. And if you're new to pouring, it's just easy to just pour it off. We like to use what we call our cuppy hands to catch the paint on the corners. Julia says she told the hubby to blame you for all the vases and candies issues she bought at Dollar Tree yesterday. <laughs> Alan went to Dollar Tree and got me more. <laughs> so, yeah, he's an enabler. <laughs> blame it on Alan. <laughs> Roxy says Ruth's good. Only uses water to mix her paints, and she gets amazing cells. She does, but she, you know it's the white paint that's causing those cells because it's so dense. It has to, as you can see, it has to sink down through the color, and that's what creates cells. It's it's black and white are your heaviest colors, so if you have them on top, they're fighting to get through to the bottom because they're the mica is so heavy in that. It takes so much to make a white and so much to make a black. This will be pretty when it's dry because the gold and the copper are metallic. And this will continue to sink some more. It'll look totally different next week. I promise. Truth Seeker says, Alan makes me poor. P. I think you misspelled that. P O O R. Oh yeah. <laughs> put P O U R. I just got one question. How many other people have gone to Dollar Tree and came out with a sixty-eight dollar receipt? When did we do that? About two weeks ago. Oh, that's right. When we bought all that stuff, yeah. Well, we were buying Christmas presents for the grandkids too, though. Yeah, pens and still. pens and little Lisa stuff. Said me, Shelly said me. See, it's not just us. Oh, that was the wrong cap. Dixie said me. Fran said me. See, okay. see, Alan. <laughs> Brian spent fifty-seven about three weeks ago. Jennifer said, me? Uh -huh. Glitter and coffees? Is I get in trouble at the DT? Yeah. It's not hard to get in trouble, especially when they get new stuff in. Because then you're like, ooh, these are new. I'm going to buy a bunch. Because they won't be there when you go back. Roxy says, I want your paints. All right. Let me... Grab that jug. Alan said me. Julia says it's easy. Grab that PBO jug over there. Oh, actually, never mind. I got one right here. Okay, so this is the PBO pouring medium. I'm going to get a light reflection off of it. Jerry's Artorama has them. This size right here is 81.79. And you can't use the coupon code on it. I'm waiting for them to put them on sale. Because I only paid 50 for these at the show. So, yeah. Then this is the third one. I opened it. So, I did use a lot. Let me show you those paintings. Sen Sen said, me, me, me. <clears throat> All right. So, these were from our vases. I got that one. And this one. And 
and this one. See the see how shiny that PBO dries? So I'm just gonna put a spray varnish on these because they don't need anything heavier than that. This one's kind of blah. So I could probably put something on that one. I have more. <laughs> Sense on what's not. How do they dry so shiny? It's the PBO pouring medium. It's gloss. I kind of like what the white did in this one. It kind of clouded out a little bit. This one's pretty. And this one was from the red. Gloria says she likes the idea of matching bases and canvases. Great gift. Yeah, canvases. they're great gifts. Something for their table and something for their wall. And this was off my favorite base. The uh, moody blue, black, silver. So I want to know, do they still need varnish? Yeah, these are going to get spray varnished. I then, you know, Matt, I didn't tape them off because I was just throwing them under there. But, um... It doesn't feel damp. It's been a while. Well, let's see. Tomorrow will be a week. So I figure if I wait until maybe Friday, I could put a coat of spray varnish on them. Good night, Dixie. Night, Judy. You need to get that right, Alan. The reason I do that is because not everybody knows that oh. Dixie is Judy. Okay. So this is the one I want to show them, though. Can you help me? That video is very sticky. So in the video, it had no cells, but we ended up getting some. I really like it. And then you can grab me that one down there by the cart. These ones? Yeah. Oh. So the last video, you guys remember I put love must see. I absolutely loved the painting. But because I had no room on my drying racks, I thought, well. I'll stick it in my resin rack because it's level. But I had it on a plastic tray and my plastic tray in the back tipped. So that beautiful painting on the last video turned into this. But I still love it. <laughs> Look at the size of those cells. I still love it, but I lost that leopardy print stuff that I had going on. It all went off the canvas. But I still love it. I still think it's pretty. Especially if you hung it this way. So I've seen a couple of questions come up. Roxy wants to know, is there a video for that round painting? Yeah, the oval? Yeah. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, Linda Brown. She said, you, Alan, please show me your can of WD-40. Oh, there you go. Black can, water-resistant silicone lubricant. There's the other one. Monica Strickland. And this is in my Amazon shop. What spray varnish do you use? I use, and I'll show you. I either use Winsor Newton. Yes, you can get at Michael's. Use your coupon. Or I use the Krylon UV Archival. And then I bought one at the show.
I bought the Grumbacher acrylic varnish gloss. And then I also bought one for matte for alcohol inks. So there's, you know, these are all archival. And that's what you want. You don't want to use anything that's going to yellow. So there's a couple of questions about how do you finish the backs or do you finish your backs of the canvases? No. I normally tape them off so you get just like the very edge of paint. And sometimes Alan's will have maybe a fingerprint or two under them. But um, no, not normally. But if I'm doing like gifts, I sometimes paint the edge on the back. But um, you want them to look like art. They're handmade. They're not from a store. So they don't have to be perfect. You want to show them how we tape them off? And this is how we tape off the back. We use painter's tape and we use metal push pins so they don't break. And we hammer those in so they don't come out. This tape stays on until this painting gets signed. So even if I'm going to resin it, that's still with that tape. And I do use a heat gun to get this off when I resin. And as Terry wants to know, do you spray outside? Yeah, I spray them outside. Just make sure you don't do it next to your vehicle. <laughs> right. <laughs> or downwind. Or downwind, yeah. We have beautiful sunny days here, even in the winter, where I can go out and spray. And I'll wait like a couple minutes and I'll bring it back inside. And I do, it does get stinky, but it's not the full fume. I can show them these while you're getting your stuff. So I did use up the last of that resin and I did these trivets. This one has cells. And these two, I was aiming for no cells for my no cell people. But I still did get cells from the white. So just that little bit I had left in that cup did these. Of course, these already had one coat on them, so I just finished them. Anything else I need to show them? <laughs> Everything else is upcoming videos that you can't see yet. <laughs> oh, teasers, huh? They are te they're not teasers, though. There's like, I think I have seven or eight videos scheduled. Scheduled? Yes. Scheduled. What do you do on Flip and Drag? Brian's favorite. Brian's favorite. Flip and drag. Flip and drag. Paints gray. Paints gray, yeah. Um, I would shake that. It's been sitting. I didn't use that last week either. Time to get messy. You could take them outside and spray them, but you'll have to bring them right back in. So I don't know how um, Jeff and Erica do it inside their studio apartment with the fan blowing out the window. I still think it would be way too stinky. <laughs> but those two are awesome artists. I love watching them. 8 by 20 canvas. Just remember, if you're putting paperbacks on your paintings, to make sure you cut a hole in the middle, just a little triangle, so that your canvas can breathe. Deep breath. <sighs> yeah, I just run outside and I spray it really quick and then I run back in. And <laughs> Our big thing here in the summertime is making sure there's no gnats out because they love spray paint. They love the smell of spray paint. 
And varnish. Yeah. And resin. They love resin. I haven't too. had any stuck in my resin, thank God. That's why I make you guys close the door all the time. This is Payne's Gray that we mix with Gunmetal Metallic. So it has a shimmer to it, just like our Moody Blue Shimmer. And you know what's weird about those uh, PBO paintings? I cannot see the silicone on them. I'm still going to, you know, wash them off with a little bit of Dawn dish soap because they are gloss finish and I don't have to worry about the baby powder thing. So I can't see a spot of silicone on them. And I'm not going to like throw some resin on there to try it and see if, if it would cover it. But I just can't see it. Becky, if you frame a pour, I would still, you know, have them put a little square in the back for that canvas to breathe. Now, if you're using like ceramic tile or birch boards, stuff like that um, is safe to go ahead and um, put inside of a frame like a shadow box. Yeah, my next painting, I'm going to be using um, a color palette like that one that I showed you that my painting fell apart. <laughs> What do you mean fell apart? It fell off the side. Oh, it slid. Yeah. And it was just off a hair. That's all it takes to pull that painting off. We are going to be doing some experiments with PBO and Floetrol mixed together. And also changing up the silicone. So I'm going to have a few more videos with the PBO pouring medium. You want to learn how to, you want to try to control that, that cell growth. Yeah, the cell growth, definitely. If you can. I'm just wondering if they just put just a little bit of glue in there because the glue with the GAC 800 holds cells really well. But I'm just wondering if I put just a touch of glue in there or just some GAC 800, but that is a pouring medium also, so... Okay. Colors. Colors. Okay, Terry, you have a YouTube question? <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, Brenda. Um, you can get the pouring medium through Jerry's Artorama or Amazon carries it. And PBO has their own website, I believe, too. But if you just want to get a small bottle to try it, get it from my Amazon shop. I don't see why they wouldn't, Terry. The only thing that's leaving um, YouTube tomorrow is Creator Classic Studio. So anybody that's been editing their, you know, uploading through that, you're going to lose that tomorrow. So tomorrow it's all Studio Beta. I was playing with it today because I, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to miss that Creator Classic. <laughs> I do not like the studio beta. <laughs> I haven't seen anything about that, Terry. I watch um, Daryl Eves, and he's been keeping everybody updated about the changes, and he did not say one word about that. 
found that I would not do pinks on that, honey. No? No. Greens, golds. I just okay. think you're going to get um, mocky gray color. I'm going to kill that Grumbacher Cerulean Blue tonight. <laughs> But I have more of that. That's okay. That <laughs> bottle needs to be cleaned. Oh, is that what it is? You could put some green in there. Um, Terry, you can ask in the community forums um, if that's true or not. And if it is, post it in the Paraj Posse group so that all of us can see that. Okay. You have a metallic? You want a metallic. You always throw a metallic on Payne's Gray, babe. Silver or gold. Gold bronze. Worn penny. We haven't used worn penny in a while. No, not on Payne's Gray. Okay, then we'll go with the deco art. Yeah, because I have more of that to mix up. Grumbacher Cerulean Blue Hue. Soho Brilliant Red. The Creative Inspirations White. Are you doing a flip and drag? Yes. Oh, you've got way too many colors. Then. Soho Olive Green. You're going to get mud. Then we'll take Alan's red shimmer out of it. <laughs> Chicken. And Sleeping Beauty turquoise shimmer. Um, Linda, I buy all my birch boards from Jerry's. I get the Da Vinci Pro panels. She was mad because she couldn't get the 6 uh, by 24s that you wanted. Well, Shelly and I both suffered at the show because they had none on Friday and none on Saturday. Okay. Get our Using WD-40 silicone spray. Spray my cup. I think it was Becky that gave you the Amazon number, Linda. Keep that where it was. The secret to a flip and drag. One pinky's worth of paint. Good luck First with all those colors getting that low. <clears throat> yes, we were very disappointed, weren't we, Shell? <laughs> and they restocked Saturday morning and they bought them all out again. That's okay. Their prices last week for their Christmas holiday sale were better than the show prices on the, on the paint prices. So I stocked up. We still spent a lot. I spent too much money. <laughs> so my, my accountant's going to love me at the end of the year because I definitely probably spent all my income, didn't I, no. this year? <laughs> Didn't spend that Please much. say yes. <laughs> Think I need a little more. Yeah, just a touch. I would go less blue and more uh, metallic. I'll go with your gold. <clears throat> I'm froggy tonight. And then I get quiet. The suspense is killing everyone. Do, do, do. 
flip and drag. I think Linda's in the group. Linda, are you in the Paraj Posse group? I know Becky is. Dana was waiting for you to kill that bottle as promised. He did spray the cup. He's a good boy. Good guy. Ooh, that sounds pretty, Julie. I'm surprised it was purple with all that runoff, though. It should have been mud, huh? <laughs> Green and red. Those colors look pretty. Let's see how you stretch. So taking out through the edge a little. A little scrape there on the canvas, didn't you? Just a tad. You can, honey, you can take your finger and wet that up to the edge. Break, you know, break the tension. Take some of your runoff from the bottom of the canvas and put it up on that big long one that you've got there on the right. On to your left, I'm sorry. Yeah. I would take take it off the canvas and put it on there because you're going to probably get some dents. So I think next week, um, I think I'm going to teach Alan how to do blooms. What? <laughs> and we'll do a Monday night bloom night. So we can teach you guys that didn't take the course how to do them. Uh, be Da Vinci birch boards, Linda. On Jerry's Artorama. I can send you the link, honey, when we get done. I think he would do really well with them because he's a slow painter. So I think he would be more apt to do blooms. Hey. Hey. I resemble that remark. Because <laughs> you have to have a lot of patience to do the blooms. It's not a quick blow and go thing. A lot of stretching and he likes to take his time stretching so I think he would do really well doing the blooms. You can re-watch it, Shell. <laughs> Shelly, you live so close that you could come over and see it in person. 
Come on, Shelf. Come join us. Well, I have just about everything that um, Shelly uses, Shelly Carruthers. I have the Aussie Flow Troll and I just need to mix everything. My paint did not crack on my blooms. I have um, tiles that I did already when I first took the course. Look how it just slides right along. I know, Maria. I wish you were closer, too. Do we have a countdown? I haven't checked it. But I will. One hundred and fifty nine days. Good night, Brenda. Good night, Brenda. It's you know, when you're doing the blooms, it's totally different stuff that you that you use for acrylic pouring. So you have to get all that stuff out and set it up and mix so i don't have room to have all that stuff on my pouring table so it's just like you do those for a week and then you do something else for a week and then you do something else for a week and i try to film everything i do i did a bunch of um paintings this past week that i didn't even talk through them to put up during christmas season you know but it's just paint, 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 and then figure out where you're going to put it off. <laughs> he has a paint community. <laughs> oh, he's got his leaf blower. Yeah, Nate, this is the dinosaur weekend that's um, in North Carolina. So yes, our auction is Saturday night, Saturday late afternoon, four o'clock Eastern time. Saturday. Saturday. So we can box everything Sunday and ship everything Monday. Somebody got paint on my leaf board. I didn't do it. I didn't use it.
Yeah, I have that in my Amazon shop. Actually, um, someone just posted a link for it. At New Sally, right above. It's cheaper than an airbrush. I'm not sure how it blows. I haven't used it yet on the flip and drag, so I'm not sure how to compare it to the PSI of the airbrush. Very similar. Tammy. I just love that thing. Are you glad I bought you a leaf blower? Yes. That is Payne's Gray mixed with Gunmetal Metallic. Some interesting things happening here. That'd be pretty when it's dry because he used a lot of different colors. So when it dries, you'll see it better. Yeah, and that, that was the peridot in there? That was the olive green. Oh, olive green. I know people have things planned for Saturday, but I have to get it done. <laughs> I was going to do a silent auction on Facebook, but I just have too much stuff. So I may still put stuff on Facebook on my um, art page for people to bid on. We'll see what that looks like when it's dry. Yeah, this color looks beautiful with silver and with Nate's stormy weather and black. I had a lot of pretty paintings with those four colors. Skin? No. <laughs> Wait, Maria might want some Payne's gray skins. <laughs> There's actually a nice, cool one there but so we're going to do a little experiment now with my next painting experiment yeah experiment i didn't kill it yeah cuz i do have some mixed up Kind of experiment you doing? I'm going to use our mix with the PBO silicone. I'm surprised those out. little leaf blowers aren't sold out because Canella used it on a Dutch pour. And it was like right after we bought ours. But we bought ours, I think we got ours through Walmart. Because it was, I don't know if it was cheaper or if they just had it in stock or what. why I bought it from Walmart. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Santa says, I added the leaf blower to my Amazon cart and can't wait to get it in play. You're going to have fun with it. They are fun. Okay, so I want white with no silicone. Oh, I'm gonna use the, uh, what color am I missing? Moody blue. Okay. 
Yeah. Cole sells them too. Coles? Well. All right, so we're going to try something. I'm going to need stir sticks. Dina has one. She says she loves her little blower. She's had it for a couple of months. Yeah, a lot of people had them. They just never did videos with them. Okay, so this is the Moody Blue Shimmer. This is a good time to experiment, I guess. Uh, let's see. Cecilia wants to know, does your Amazon shop ship to Canada? Um, if you go into your Canadian Amazon and then go into my Amazon shop, I don't know if it will link it or not. I need to add that, and I I need someone to show me how to do that is what I need to do. Right. Because I can do the UK um, Amazon shop too, but I haven't figured out how to set all that up yet. Roxy says she can't find the uh, can't find leaf blower on your Amazon page. I have it in there. Shelly put the link up earlier. And but, Kelly Ruth wants to know, did you see the video with an actual leaf blower? Alan did one. <laughs> like July of last year. August. August. Was August, yep. Alan's leaf blower. Yeah, Ron Smith did the big leaf blower. Yeah. He did his inside, though. <laughs> you did yours outside. Poor Sashkia. She has that fear of paint getting everywhere again. Like when he did the balloon. Should leave these out because we need to refill a few bottles. Cecilia said last time she tried it, she said it does not ship to Canada. Oh, um, bummer. I'll have to figure that out after the holiday, Cecilia. Mary Ellen wants to know, are we taking the leaf blower to the beach? No. We can't cause any damage. <laughs> can't cause damage with that one? Oh, the little mini one? Yeah. And if we're really into the blooms, if I can figure out, out a way to transport all that stuff, we may take stuff to do blooms there, too. Welcome back, Maria. And this is the um, Snow White Iridescent Pearl. But I am going to use some regular white, too, because this might be just a little too transparent. It's not as opaque as white, white. Julia, I'm not sure if that was the one that uh, you saw, but it was on Christina's channel. The outside one. With the leaf blower. He has that in his office at work. Yes, the painting is on my wall. All right, so I'm. this is what I'm going to do. One drop in those two colors. Experiment? Yep, experiment. One, one. And this is the PBO silicone oil. I want to see if it's going to react with our paints the way it does with its pouring medium. So I'm not sure. And you could stir this stuff for an hour on that PBO pouring medium, and you still get all those crazy cells. Lynn Brown wants to know, what are the pros and cons on torches versus heat guns? They both work about the same. You just got to be careful. Stay at least six to eight inches away from your painting. Don't stay in one spot too long. Yep, and don't stay in one spot too long. Alan? Yes. Oh! He always leaves a mess. <laughs> tattletale. I am a tattletale. Neener, neener, neener. Okay. Wish 
get a square canvas. Do we have a square? No. A prep square? No. We don't have a prep round either. Thank you, Becky. Appreciate okay. your support. I want to get all these canvases moved. That's why I didn't prep any. I got two racks with wheels on them, so I want to move canvases. So I don't want them all prepped because then I got to face-to-face, back-to-back them, and I don't like doing that. Okay, so we will do... Maybe four. Thank you, Dana. Four she flips. Said, she mentioned heat guns tend to blow your paint around and torch won't. <coughs> well, right. not all not all heat guns have the fan on them though either. It all depends if your heat gun has a fan. Okay, we're gonna start you, with the Snow White. And then we'll go with, let's go with Nate's Stormy Weather. So we'll do another, another round. And then I'll put some silver here. I want to see if it's just their silicone that makes it do this. And then I'll have to experiment with putting treadmill silicone in the PBO. So we get a perfect experiment. Uh-oh. Monica says you pulled an and you didn't spray. No, because this is an experiment with the PBO silicone. We don't want anything interfering with it. Ah, so point. <laughs> I have to remember that, Monica. <laughs> He'll use this as an excuse now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> They don't start saying that on other people's videos. What? You pulled the nail on. <laughs> I've seen your name mentioned on other videos. Ellen Welch did one of those. I think it's funny. All right. Ryan wants to know, does it have a weight for the silicone on the bottle? Probably not. No. No. Just how Roxy much is wants to know, is that black? No, it's paint's gray. That's what I forgot to put in there, the black. Let me squirt some down the middle. I want no silicone. How do you read this thing? You don't have good enough eyes? Okay. There is a ratio on it, but. I think it's just the packaging. Oh, I see cells already. I see it. All I see is a telephone number. 
Here you go, Brian. There's a telephone number. <laughs> you could call him and ask, but it's it's made in China. But I believe the telephone number is probably Canada. They all sound different. I see that big cell already. See it, guys? Okay. I'm going to leave that tipped in case I need it for corners. I like how that one came out right there. Yeah. It's a nice thing with flip cups. They all come out different. The silicone. Okay, so the silicone definitely rises faster with our pouring medium, with our mix. I don't want to torch it yet. But maybe I'll run a stick through just to give it some interest. So it's not so stuck together. I didn't want to use a ton of paint either because it would just make the silicone grow more. Sanson says, that looks like the earth crushes you from space. Brian says, that is definitely different than the treadmill. Now I've tried the Artist Loft silicone and I couldn't see any difference between that and the treadmill. Um, but I should try it with this mix with the Garage Posse paints because I tried it with different paint. Julia's back. She's baking almond spritz Christmas cookies. Can't talk about baking Christmas cookies. <laughs> it's time for food. I know, but snack time. I don't even have my tree up yet. I need someone to come and put my Christmas decorations up. Maria wants to know, is that your paints with the PBO silicone? Just the PBO silicone, our mix. Okay. Maria wants to know, is this stuff in your Amazon? Uh, I didn't find the silicone on Amazon. It is available through Jerry's? I don't know if they had it there either. All I know, all I saw on Jerry's was the paint and the pouring medium. Let me check it again, Bri. I'll let you know. Okay, let's torch. Julia, are we going to have a repeat of Gremlins with this silicone? I don't know. They're coming though. I'll we'll just sit here and talk for 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't like that. Those cells are getting really big though. Love that. Remember, it's 3D. It was one drop in those two colors. That's it. Shelly says the PBO silicone is at Dick Blicks. I don't mind them if they have color inside color, but when they're plain like that, I don't like that. And you torched it and nothing came out? Yeah, nothing came through it. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe the maybe the snow white will pop up through there a little bit when it separates. He just added some cells next to it. Mm-hmm. Now watch I'm gonna hit it here. It'll start coming. 
And I probably can get them in here too. I always tell everybody, if you don't like cells, don't use the PBO because just the PBO medium gave me cells. And I'll grab that. Um, I did a clock for my shop. Where did I put it? Gloria says there's a ghost on the right. Two eyes and nose and sheet is arm. Uh oh, everybody's seeing ghosts. Huh? You're seeing ghosts. <laughs> Uh, Beth wants to know, could you drop a spot of white in that blue cell and would that do anything? I'll probably pick something off from the pad and put it in there. This was no silicone. This is just the PBO paint. Well, the PBO medium with our paint. And I kept tipping and tipping and thinned it out as much as I could. This is one of these old records. These heavy duty ones. I'd make a cute little clock. Where's the ghost? Yeah, where's the ghost? Here, here, here. They said on the right. <laughs> on their right. Two eyes and nose. Ghost has a mustache. I don't know. Kelly says, flip it around. They're pretty colors together, though, aren't they? Pause says, just off the center to our right. And this side? In the center. It's got to be this. Turn canvas so you see it. It's upside down. It's right here, I think. I got to fix that spot. I don't like it. I got some really pretty stuff coming out of my cup here. I can pick up. I need a palette knife to get it thin enough. Truth Seeker says there's a baby ghost in the middle, too. Oh, come on. <laughs> you guys are seeing things. Look see what's them. happening with those. Look at those eyes right there. Look how much the cells are popping, though. I got a caterpillar hiding under here. Sansa says, if you stand back, you'll probably see it. I'm not like you guys. I don't see that. I'm not, what do they call it, pareidolia? Aridolia. See, they says you're upper right. Brian says you're top right. But see, you guys are, were flipped. So if it's my upper right, it's here. <laughs> Brian's like, yeah, like <laughs> 10 of you seeing the same things. I guarantee you that this painting will look totally different tomorrow because that silicone, I, I'm glad it's not like doing this all over the place, but it hasn't been 10 minutes yet either. I think because my pouring medium has GAC 800 in it, which is maintaining the, the cell structure. And Roxy's like, I'm pointing at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll point at you, Rox. 
Move to your left a little, Terry says. This way. That little guy there is what I see. With a big mouth and two eyes. Don't be talking about me like that. <laughs> Brian says, yes, your finger almost touched it there. It has a light source from your upper right. <laughs> now Alan's tipping his head upside down. <laughs> yes, those two circles are the eyes. Yeah, I see it now. I want to hit this spot right here with the torch because it's got a couple of dark cells coming up. Just to see if there's a few more. Nope. Nope. Now everybody's going to have to come back next week to see what this looks like after it dries. I'm wondering how much it's going to change because it's going to change. I, I get so excited when I do those pours and then I come back out the next day and they don't nothing like they did when I poured them. So I'm hoping that maybe mixing their silicone with our pouring medium, we can get some really cool cells because you figured and that dropper doesn't drop a big drop like the silicone that we use in the treadmill bottle. But this drops a very small drop. It just amazes me. Two drops and that, all that paint, and that's what we got. Maria says, post it in the group tomorrow. I, well, it won't be dry tomorrow because my pouring medium takes longer to dry. We'll see. We'll see if it's dry tomorrow. Enough to take a picture. He's turning upside down. Let me pick it up so you guys can see it up close. There's some cool stuff going on. I'm glad that I used the Snow White because that's the iridescent pearl. And then we have the Moody Blue, which is the gunmetal metallic blue. We have Nate Stormy Weather, which has just a little bit of iridescence in it. And then the metallic silver. So we should have some shimmer. We have a troll. Yep. A nasty troll. Good night, Sherry. Thank you for joining us. So that was fun to try that out. Now I see the cells that it creates. So our next experiment will be mixing the PBO with Floetrol. We'll still use their silicone. And then we'll try it with treadmill silicone. That's crazy that it's only with one drop of that silicone. In two colors. Mm -hmm. It's pretty painting though. I love the depth. It looks like it has depth through here. Julia wants to know what causes silicone. Not your paint's watery, that's for sure. I always tell everybody, like, if we're going to take honey and put it in the microwave just to warm it, like maple syrup, that's about the consistency you want. You still want to see that when you're stirring your cup and you're taking it off the stick, you want to see that line. You want a small mound and a line that will disappear, like, in four seconds. Or when you're stirring your paint, bring it up on the stick run your finger through the middle like that. If it comes back together, it's too thin, but it should drizzle off the stick as well. I know a lot of people have ordered our ready to pour paints just to check their consistency too, because our paints work so well. Good night, Susan. These are even pretty. Thank you for joining us. 
So you guys have any more questions before we head out? Roxy, I'm glad you could join us tonight. She says she loves this forum. Felt like she was right there with us. Cool. I would love it if you guys were right here. <laughs> I am going to have so much fun at the retreat doing hands-on with everybody, especially Jenny. Oh, my God. She's going to crack me up for a week. She, her video, her bloom video, this last one that she did with the uh, Christmas ornaments, her giggle, I laughed so hard when she giggled. She's so funny. But then I get to meet everybody else. I've already met Shelly, so I'll be comfortable around Shelly. Sorry, Dana. Didn't mean to keep you up all night. She says, night, guys. Thanks for a great early morning. <laughs> LOL. Damn you. 4 a.m. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, though. Most of my overseas peeps have to watch it the next day. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you. Thanks, everybody, for all the donations we've been getting. Um, I've been writing them all in the book because our drawing is January 1st, and we're going to do it on New Year's Eve at midnight. We're going to do the drawing because that's January 1st. So we'll do the drawing while we're live. Good night, Becky. Good night, Joanne. So we had a great time tonight. It was fun experimenting with something new. Just got to figure out where I'm going to put all these paintings. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> but Thank I you, will, Ryan. tomorrow I will take a picture of that and post it in the group. So if you haven't joined the Paraj Posse on Facebook yet, get over there and join. You just have to be a subscriber. If you're interested in getting paints, email me at christinawelchart at yahoo.com. Or you can get them on Etsy. I sell the jars on Etsy. And it's free shipping through Etsy. For those that don't Facebook. Ooh, we got a woohoo. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> So thanks so much for joining us, guys. We will see you all next Monday. Actually, we'll see you Saturday if you come to the auction. Um, I will be putting a preview up probably Thursday or Friday night. That's probably the soonest I'm going to get it up. I, let's shoot for Thursday. Um, I'm just going to show you the tray of jewelry that we're going to be offering. I'm not going to show each piece. But we have some beautiful resin pieces, and we have tons of jewelry, a few trivets, and the bases. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Nate, you know the rules. Questions in cap. <laughs> How much is the gallon of PBO medium? 81.79 on Jerry's. I see skins. But remember, this wasn't the PBO medium. This was our mix. With the PBO silicone. With the PBO silicone, yep. So love you all, and we'll see you later. Thanks for joining us. Have a good evening. Bye now. <laughs>